Hi, this is Chuck of Chuck's Off The Grid World. Uh, this is a, just a little uh, video for fun. Taking my backyard, it's snowing, it's cold. I thought we'd see how this comes out. See ya. Okay, this is Chuck again. I'm back again. Uh, on this video, I'm gonna show you how to package and and uh, send an item that you sold on eBay or any other website. Uh, they're all similar. Uh, here's the items that you need. We need the smartphone. That's to create a hotspot so your internet will work on your on your laptop. Uh, you could actually do that without using a laptop. You just go directly from your smartphone to a printer. But that's not the way Chucky does it in Chucky's world. Need a, some tape. Need an envelope for this item. This is the item that I sold. It's a, it's a remote control for a Nikon camera. Uh, these are some instructions I printed out. This is a weight scale. So you can see how much it weighs when you... Put it in there, it'll tell you how much it's going to cost, and you'll pay for the cost. And then you got just a basic printer. Uh, this printer's getting pretty beat up. It's about a $40 printer, and it's seen too many states, and been in too many, too many compartments, and get a little beat up. <laughs> and then you need your, your laptop. Uh, another thing you need is power to power your printer and your laptop, and in this case, it's going to my plug on the floor there, which is part of my solar system in my house. I'm in the house, I'm off the grid because that's in a solar outlet that's not hooked to the grid. And then we got, we got the navigator sitting over here sleeping. So we'll get started on this. Thank you. Okay, it's Chuck back again. Uh, we're going to assume that you watched the earlier video on how to create a hotspot with your smartphone. So I'm not going to go through that again. But we're assuming that we got a smart, we have a hotspot. And when your hotspot comes up, you have to go to this area right here. And it'll show you all the different hotspots. And you click on the one that, that you need. And then you'll have the internet. The internet's so you can go to the eBay website. We want to go to it. We want to go to this here first, which is Google Chrome or Google, and then we'll go to my eBay account. Then I'm going to go to my eBay and the selling. And it'll come up here, it says that uh, I've got two labels to print and ship. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. And then we'll have two of them here. And I'm gonna do this one right here, which is this uh, icon remote. And it says purchase shipping label, okay. We'll click on that of course you have to have an account with all this stuff set up um, you just have to line all your ducks in a row it's not difficult it just takes a while okay it says first class package uh, maximum weight up to 15.9 ounces while well, they increased that uh, it used to be 13 ounces but now it's, they're charging $3.58 to ship it. And I have to pay that because I said it was free freight. So, uh, we uh gonna agree to that. It says purchase shipping label. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do. It puts your shipping label and see what happens. Okay, so now it comes up, it shows. 
Okay, I'm back again. Now all I have to do is package this thing up. And just take and cut this section of it off. Keep that. Wow, look at this. There's only one thing that's sadder than seeing a, a motorhome or an RV sitting covered in snow. And that's a parked motorcycle covered with snow. It's just so sad. But, uh, that's just the way it is in Colorado. Uh, you got to take the good with the bad, the warm with the cold. Thank you for watching this video. Please uh, subscribe. And uh, we have a little short video after this one. It's just a little fun video. Thank you. Well, this is Chuck. Chuck's off the grid world. I'm out riding my bike again today. And I've come across that house on an earlier video that I showed you that the tree was laying on top of the house. They've cut the tree out of the out of the ground there, and the roots are still on the ground. And I see no damage on that roof of that house. I cannot believe that. You go back and look at the previous video, you'll see how how that big pine tree was laying on top of that house and on top of this car here. I don't see any damage on this car as well. So apparently they must have lucked out. I'm assuming they have to wait till the ground falls out before they cut that out of there. Uh, that's a serious problem. See you later.